Hi all! Welcome back to Exclusively Nail Art. This is the Spring Revival Nail Art that you see here and I will be showing you how to do that today. These are all of the things that we are going to use for this nail art today. I will show you each thing. This is the Sally Hansen Double Duty Base and Top Coat. I will be using this for my base coat today. Then I have a lot of Miracle Gels. So this is the Miracle Gel Prince Charmant that I will be using. This is the Miracle Gel Red Eye. This is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Punkish Purple. This is the Miracle Gel Bite Blue. The Miracle Gel Electra Cute. The Miracle Gel Pink Tourist. The Miracle Gel Lemon Heaven. And the Miracle Gel Top Coat The 101. The last polish you will need today is from the Shani Cosmetics. It is a nail art striper and it's the color 22. It's really just a dark green. And the final two tools you'll need today is a dotting tool and a paper towel. So first things first, we need a base coat for our nails. Our next step today is going to be putting on the base color. So this is the Pinterest Miracle Gel. We will be using this on the base of our nails. This will be the background color. I have done this nail art also in white before and that also looked really cute but I wanted to change it up for today. So just use any light color on the base of your nails and make sure that it's not the same color as any of the flowers you are going to use. So I've done three coats of this color. Once you see both hands, that's three coats because two coats didn't quite seem thick enough. So now we're going to go in with our first color for our flowers. You'll need the dotting tool. Mine has two sides to it. One's bigger and one is smaller. I'm going to use the smaller one today because it does give you more precision and you also need your paper towel. So you just get some nail polish on the end of your dotting tool. You don't want too much and you don't want too little. It's a hard balance to find, but I would err on the side of caution and have too little versus too much to make sure that it doesn't drip somewhere that you don't want it. And what you're trying to accomplish is five small dots in a circle to achieve that flower look. And you don't need to fill the middle because that will be yellow later. And then you do this on all of your nails. Once you are done your final flower on in that color, you do finally need your paper towel to clear off your dotting tool between colors. And then you go ahead and you do that for the next color as well. A tip for you while doing this nail art is to decide where you're going to keep your flowers. So I kind of kept five different 
spots to keep in mind while I was making my flowers. So I did like the top right, the top left, the bottom right, the bottom left, and right in the middle at the bottom. So that I kind of knew where to put the flowers as I was going and where I needed to leave space for another flower. So as you go through this, really think about your flower placement. And I also chose to put my flowers all in a different spot um, on each finger, but you don't have to do that. If you want all of your fingernails to have the same flower in the same spot, then you can go ahead and do that as well. We are just about finished up making the flowers so we are about to switch to our yellow color and put those just one dot for each flower right in the middle with that yellow color to make the center of the flower. Now finally all of the flowers are done. So we are going to go back in right now and add the kind of vine piece that you see. So what you'll need to get is your green striping tool. So remember I have the Shani Cosmetics Nail Art Striper. Um, number 22 is the color I use. And you're gonna wanna pay really close attention um, to detail here. You have to be really careful with your hand because when it comes to stripers, if you push too hard, then the polish gets too thick. So the lighter you push down, the smaller the line. So you are just going to connect each flower with a line. Now I tried my best to show you up close. You're really just doing a line from each flower to the other. Now, of course, my hand gets in the way here because I was trying really hard to show you, but you can't see it, but there you go. So there's another line. Then my hand gets in the way again. I'm just connecting the flowers almost like it's a dot to dot. So from one end to the other, all the way around. And go into your nail polish as much as you need, but never have too much on your nail polish brush, otherwise it could ruin your whole look. So once you've connected all of your flowers, you go back and you can add some little details. Because of the way the striper is shaped, it's actually already kind of shaped like a leaf. So you can just press it down off of the edge of the vine to make a leaf really, really easily. And I just put a few on each nail to make it look like a vine. And you'll see it up close in just a second here. I add, you know, as many little details as I can fit without it looking too bulky. And there we go. And you have to do that on all of your nails now.
and we are done with those vines here's an up close look at what those look like and I ended up on the other hand adding a little swirl in so if you have a lot of extra room between your flowers you can add like a loop-de-loop -loop if you have room and it looks really nice and cool and the final step is going to be to put on that top coat you want to make sure you wait before you put on this top coat if you don't wait long enough then it will actually kind of smear all your colors together so you want to wait a little while and wait for it to get a little bit dried before you paint on top otherwise it could smear all of your colors there we are the top coat is done here is another up close look as to what these look like I do go in and just clean up the edges a little bit because I did get some in places I didn't want it but overall I'm really pleased with this look I really hope that you enjoyed it too. I would love to see your recreation of this. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and good luck with your own recreations. I will see you later guys. Bye!